Yes, we've got a clinical case, my beloveds. 28-year-old preemie gravida presents. 28-year preemie gravida. Huh? First, first one. Uh -huh. First pregnancy. Presents to her for to her obstetrician at eight weeks of gestation, complaining of nausea uh, uh, and vomiting that started around six weeks. She describes feeling nauseated throughout the day, particularly when she hasn't right huh? when she hasn't eaten for a while and has vomited two three times daily. Oh, toxicity. So she reports a decrease in appetite by denying significant weight loss has lost one kilogram since her last visit, okay, and is able to keep down fluids for most of the day, it's good. Her vital signs are stable and physical examination is unremarkable. Mm -hmm. She is very distressed by her symptoms and asks for something to make it stop. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial management for this patient? <clears throat> okay, we understand pattern, huh? give me options. Option A, immediately admit for intravenous fluids and antimimetics due to suspected hyperemesis gravidarum. Mm, uh, prescribed or done as cetron, 4 mg orally every 8 hours as needed. Next, the recommended dietary modifications, frequent small, small meals and pyridoxin, vitamin B6. Why not? Supplementation, very good answer, and advise her that is the normal part of pregnancy and reassure her it will pass without intervention. No, recommended dietary modifications, frequent uh, meals and paradoxin, vitamin B6 supplementation is a correct option. So this patient, my beloved, presents with typically symptoms of morning sickness, so nausea and vomiting of pregnancy, NVP, which usually be begins around 6 weeks, uh, uh, peaks around 9-10 weeks, and often resolve after placenta formation by 12, 16 weeks, up to 16 weeks. While her symptoms are distressing, she does not exhibit signs of severe dehydration, significant weight loss, more than 5% of pre-pregnancy weight, or electrolyte imbalance, and that would warrant immediate hospital admission for hyperemesis gravidarum, ruled out by lack of severe symptoms and stable vitals. Or uh, uh, about medication on Dacetron is a more potential antiemetic typically reserved for causes unresponsive to first line therapies or more severe NVP hemorrhages. Advising her that it's everything is great without offering interventions would, would be dismissive, or her symptoms of her symptoms are and distress. So first my line management for NVP involves lifestyle changes and pyridoxine, which has strong evidence for efficacy. Okay, stay blessed.